Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Memorial Day 2022 here in the United States. Most people celebrate with picnics and adult beverages, and I'm no different. But first, I'm going to take a minute to remember all the soldiers who gave their lives so that we can live the lives we live today, especially the one I'm going to show you next. I know in our families we've all at some point lost somebody to war. This was my cousin, Marine Sergeant Nathaniel Shea Rock, who was killed in action August 1st, 2005, outside of Haditha, Iraq. Nate was a sergeant and a sniper. He was part of the 3rd Battalion, 25th Marine Regiment, 4th Marine Division out of Brook Park, Ohio. Like I said, I know we all have something like this in our families. So I lift you all in prayer today. Let's get on to the electronics then. Okay, so here's my simple circuit. We have a 9 volt battery that's going to read around 10 volts. We have our switch to turn the circuit on. This is our positive voltage rail. You can see we're feeding two parallel circuits here. Here's a potentiometer mixed up with this guy right here. Makes us a little like voltage divider kind of deal. And that is going to feed the base of this transistor. And then we have a capacitor here that's going to charge and discharge. These guys are going to make an RC circuit. And we just turn it on. Start the simulation first. Turn it on. You can see the voltage and the current rising here. And this is just starting to get brighter and brighter and brighter. As the voltage comes up to about 1.55 volts at the base there. Of course, it's going to be amplified on the side with the LED. And as soon as we open the switch, the light goes up. So that works out pretty well. If you want to see it with a graph, watch this. Okay, so this is what we're measuring right here. And it's coming out at what, 9, 900 millivolts, just, just barely a volt, maybe. And uh, 897 picoamps, almost a nanoamp. So we're pretty flat. Here's our voltage. Here's our current. Watch what happens when I hit the switch. As soon as I hit this line, run, two, three. The voltage starts shooting up. The current starts climbing. Our LED starts glowing. And these are going to start leveling out. But it is very interesting to see the difference in the curve between the current and the voltage. Not only are they kind of happening at different rates, but, I mean, if you look at this, as soon as we hit the switch, this one was at 1.3 volts, I mean, almost instantaneously. And then this is two seconds per division. It was two seconds later before it reached an equal level of about 70 uh, microfarads. So it's very interesting. And now you can see here how they are coming together. Now watch what happens when I open the switch. This is kind of neat. You're going to see a little blip and then it'll fall. Yep, there it is, blip and fall. And it's interesting how that capacitor is just discharging like that. Turn it back on. Off. On, off. By George, we've made an oscillator. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of requests for an on after delay circuit. Remember, all you need to do to adjust it is adjust the potentiometer. You can substitute the LED for any other electronic component you might want. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you. And a big thanks to everybody who's ever worn the uniform of their country and put themselves in danger. God bless you all. That's it. I'm out. Peace.